All right, Derek, got a lefty on the TNT, the new TNT. Let's get lined up with it. All right, same process. I pretty much stand on the big dot like I always do. Kind of throw it at 10 and kind of go from there. Wow, that really jerked down length. Mind up pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, that was that was easy. A typical lefty, stand on big dot, look at 10. Yeah. Perfect that, bowling ball. Now you just finished bowling on this lane with the new blue. Obviously people can go check out that video, but how does this ball compare so far just to the new blue? Uh, just much stronger and much, just more angular off the spot. Obviously being a pearl ball, um, it is just much more, much faster. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see some more shots of it. Doesn't look like you have a whole lot of moving to do to get lined up. No, we do have a little bit of a funky layout on this one. Um, four inch pin, goal is to just make it a little bit humblier in comparison to some of my other shiny stuff, just so I can stay a little bit further left and hopefully throw it a little bit longer. Okay, cool. Once I got to open up my angles, if you've seen some of my other videos like the virtual energy blackout, when I got to open up my angles is when I feel I get worse. So I wanted to be able to throw something that gets down the lane but still stay left. Got What's it. the goal with this one? Just a little slower off the spot. Correct. Yeah. But after watching that first one, it didn't look very slow off the spot. That was better. You can see that one was much more rolly and controllable for still being shiny, still getting down the lane a little bit, but just very even and tumbly. Right. I don't know. I've thrown it just a couple days now, and I really like what I see out of it. It stands up in a great way and just runs over the 8-9. Cool. If you guys remember the regular TNT, it was another very slow to respond bowling ball. Um, my goal was to kind of mimic that, but just be a little bit longer down the lane. I think I accomplished it pretty well so far. Okay, cool. Let's see some more shots of that ball, and then we'll do the comparison ball. So, kind of cool, so we get a sneak peek today at a ball that you're comparing to. What are you going to be throwing? We are going to be throwing ba -da -ba -dum, the brand new Delmo Journey. Cool. Similar layout or pin up? Pin up on this one. Still a four inch pin. Goal was to kind of let this one do what this ball is intended to do. Okay. Down the lane hook. All right. Um, Let's see that. Yeah, a little sneak peek action here. And then I'll start off in the same spot. Yeah, we'll start in the same spot and go from there. This one, I did not change the box surface on it at all. The TNT is at like a old 3000, just kind of get the shine to go away. So this one will be a little bit longer. Much longer. Wow. First, first impression? Um, based on what I just threw, we need to make a move. Um, but I've thrown this ball a couple times before and I like this one a lot too. Okay. But more to come on that. So cleaner, much cleaner, cleaner than and the TNT? much harder. Very hard off the spot. All right. All right, so we barely clipped the head pin, so I'm gonna move two left. Two and zero. That's better. Yeah, that looked okay. That was two and two left? That was two and zero. Oh, two and zero. Okay. Two and zero, just to kind of get closer to the friction. Um, you'll see that one was much longer down the lane, but very jerky once it made its directional change. Got it. So cleaner, more angular so yeah, far yeah. is what you're seeing. Okay. Same spot. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, if I were to change anything about that one right now for what I'm currently bowling on, would probably be just a little bit of surface to it to start up just a smidge sooner. Okay. And then I think it would hook more than the TNT. Um, but overall, I like what it's at. Okay. Much more of like a burn ball for me where I can open up my angles. Okay. Um, it's still pretty mid laney, so I think I may actually see some value out of it. But TNT for me right now, in comparison, is a big winner because it's early and just really forward. Okay. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, cool. Sheesh. 
All this right, ball, Derek. So final, fire. <laughs> fire. Yeah, I was going to say final rating, and, and who should be looking at this ball? Uh, like I said, this ball is absolute fire. This one rolls really, really good. Uh, for me, this ball is going to be for people that like to keep their angles pretty shallow and not really open it up a little bit, but still see their ball get down the lane. A um, little slower to respond than most pearlized products for me, um, and especially with the layout that I chose. So people like that, but if you need to open up the lane, you'll see some of our other guys really open up the lane here pretty soon. Uh, there's a lot of value in this one. Cool. Thanks, man. All right. Honorary two-hander. Testing out the new TNT infused. Let's get lined up with it. All right. That's pretty good. I feel like you're getting pretty lined up. Yeah, that one is. So uh, you were just throwing the magic gem on this lane. How? Yes. Uh, which? What's your adjustment off the magic gem with this ball? Off of the magic gem, I am eight farther right. Okay. Cool. So definitely much cleaner for me. Okay. On this ball. Pretty lined up? Yes. Cool. And we're going to be comparing today to the clone. Clone and, and uh, blackout. Blackout. And layout should be popping up on the screen. So do the clone first. And then the clone first, same yeah. spot. I'll stay in the same spot and see what it's close to. Did you like that? That was pretty good. Okay, so cleaner or did it bail? I think it bailed a little more, okay. but in the middle of the lane, I'd probably say they're pretty close to the same spring. Okay. Just that one being ASIM gets a little more forward. Okay. So any adjustments on this next shot with the clone? Uh, I'll probably just get it to the right a little quicker. Get it into the friction. So you're gonna be trying to get it to the right a little quicker? Get it to the right quicker. Try and get it to like 7, 8 down lane instead of like 10. Yeah, that is much slower than that infused is. Okay. So what's your move from here, Mark? Uh, I'll probably go two to the right and just kind of keep it in that same spot where it's just 210 from. Have you been throwing the clone a lot recently? Yeah, it's like my go-to at league right now. Okay. So they're kind of really wet dry where I'm at in league, so it helps blend them out a lot. I can say a little further to the right into the friction with the shiny cover. Got it. It's still being solid, so it's slower down the lane. Sure. All right, switch to the blackout now. All right. And are you standing where you're at with the clone, or are you going back left to it? I'll go back to where I was with that infused. Got it. Did you like that one? Yes. First thoughts compared to the infused? Uh, pretty close, a little harder down lane in my opinion than that. That's definitely cleaner so that blackout sees the mid lane a little more. Continues where the TNT goes a little bit cleaner through it and gets a little more forward down lane. So what's your final rating on the TNT infused and who do you think uh, should take a look at adding it to their bag? I think this TNT infused is going to be the nut, especially when they start hooking a little bit. You have to open up your angles. I can see this ball blending out that wet dry and just striking a lot once they see friction. Uh, I can see higher rev rates using it earlier in the day, but once they start to hook a little bit, definitely even the lower rev rates can keep it and trap it a little bit more in front of them with it. Okay, thanks. Man. Yep. All right, Kyle. New TNT up next. Let's get lined up with this guy and uh, compare it to some of the stuff already in your bag. Yes, sir. All right. 
Good old infused. Okay, first shot with it. As you can see, it's pretty clean ball overall. Um, so we're gonna move a little bit right on this shot and see if that kind of gets it in the dry a little quicker. Sending the messengers, that's always a good sign. Yeah. So far, so good with this ball. This ball's been uh, it's definitely a piece that I think is gonna be very useful for me. Um, it's got a pretty clean route, pretty clean to the front, but a pretty strong mid lane reaction when it really wants to get going. Um, so far, I put it on like a strength level as like, close to a summit but in much more polished version so like what i mean by that i mean it's just gonna get a lot further down lane have a lot more response than like a summit would that'll be one of the balls we compare it to all right so next thing we're gonna do on this adjustment so i'm not really liking how much oil there is down lane with this ball so we're gonna make a little bit of move left and we're gonna throw it slower go around it a little bit more let's go about four left so it's a bit softer, it should be good. That's pretty good. Okay. So, kind of see the little bit of time frame when this ball might be a little bit suspect for you, is when it gets a little bit too much oil down lane, because there's quite a bit of oil down lane at the moment that we're, what we're bowling on. But it doesn't mean that the ball is wrong, it just means we gotta get the ball to start, to start up in a different way. A little bit of user error there. Definitely cut it short on that one. Um, ball really wants to store its energy. So it's really reacting off of one very short window right now. So I wanted to try and roll it on that one to get it to kind of blend it off a little bit better. And it started up quite a bit sooner. So we'll go another two left and that should be the right answer. we go that was a good one all right so that's exactly what we want to do we want to get that ball to blend off a lot better and that one kind of continued a lot better through the pins as opposed to kind of hooking kind of like using up an energy and losing it there for a cool. second Pretty good right there. Okay, so what are we comparing to today? We're gonna compare it to a TNT, which is obviously in the same exact line as that ball, but the solid version, and a Summit, which is the Storm Strong high-end um, symmetric uh, hybrid ball. So these both, both those balls are gonna be hybrid, so you'll see a little bit of a different type of a hybrid compared to this one. This will be a lot smoother and a little bit earlier. Okay, looks like layouts are fairly similar, maybe taller pin, smaller VL. Yeah, taller pin on the Infuse. I want the Infuse to have a little bit more of a reaction in the back part of the lane i want it to be harder off the spot so we gave it a little bit of a shorter pin buffer to allow it to kind of react a little bit more like that got it but we'll try same exact spot with the uh regular tnt on this first shot we'll see what it does my prediction you know really bail i have to guess Not as much as I thought, but um, you can see how much smoother that is throughout the yeah. whole lane. And it, did straight, lot. it did straighten out a bit. Faster, yeah, yeah, a bit more. definitely. Still pretty, still okay, still strong, but yeah. it's not the optimal ball reaction we want. Do you feel like the original TNT comes into play more for you on sport, less on house, and then vice versa on the comes new in, used? Or? Yeah, it comes into play when I need to control it. Like when I need to control the back part of the lane more so, and urethane isn't the best option, This is that. that's definitely one of my go-to balls in the arc for sure Got it. now the next ball that would be like kind of like the step down for me per se but it's in the same area is gonna be the summit which will be the next ball we showcase so we'll go three right with it and keep our speed a little bit firmer and see what this does that 
that's better. Yeah, I definitely got to use the oil more on this lane. So, got to use a little bit more of the oil for this ball with that stronger cover stock. So, getting it to re not read too early. So, once we're able to get into the oil, it's going to be a lot better for that type of ball. Okay, so now we're switching up to the Summit. Yeah. Next ball is going to be the Summit. So, it's got the same layout the TNT does. We'll throw it where we finish with that TNT infused, and then we'll kind of see where we got to go from there. So was that in the same spot you were striking with the MP? Yes, so that's in the, in the same spot. That one I got it to the dry a little bit more and got my hand a hair bit more around it than I wanted to. But you can see how much the transition is still, even though it's a little bit cleaner than the original TNT, it's still a lot smoother transition overall. Pretty continuous ball as well. This is definitely one I've been keeping in the bag for a minute. So we'll just throw in the same spot. We'll try and maybe not get it quite as quick to the dry on this one. Pretty good there. So Kyle, uh, final rating on the new TNT infused and who should be looking at possibly adding it to their bag? I would say it's fire. Um, we're saying that a lot about a lot of bowling balls right now, but a lot of these bowling balls coming out are really, really good. Storms are doing a phenomenal job getting these bowling balls out on the market and continuously pumping out good product and not even good product, fantastic product. So um, someone that I think that this ball would be optimal for is for somebody that likes to go around the lane a little bit more for me. Um, um, so if you're wanting the ball, to, so if you start with a little bit softer ball speed, a little bit softer hand, this ball will be able to blend, you'll be able to blend this ball out a little bit better and it should create a lot better shape for you. So for me, this ball is optimal when I'm trying to get further left and get a little bit soft in my speed and my hand. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Got it.